since the Industrial Revolution, we've been increasing CO2 concentrations in the atmosphere faster than at any other time in the Earth's history. In 1750, before the Industrial Revolution, every million molecules in the Earth's atmosphere contained 280 molecules of CO2. While today, in 2015, every million molecules in the atmosphere contains 400 CO2 molecules. Now that might not seem like a hugely significant increase, but compare that to the past 400,000 years of CO2 concentrations in the atmosphere. CO2 concentrations effectively determine how much energy the Earth radiates out into space, and so determines its temperature. It's been estimated that humans have warmed the global climate by approximately 0.8 degrees Celsius since the year 1880, which is a reasonable benchmark for how much we've warmed the climate since the Industrial Revolution. Now that's the warming to date. Warming in the future is much more uncertain. Much of the effect that we will have on the climate in the future will come down to how much carbon we put into the Earth's atmosphere. And the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC, have considered multiple scenarios of emissions and in some cases mitigation by the world and tried to determine what the effect will be. The 21st century will see between 0.3 and 1.7 degrees Celsius of additional warming in the best case scenario where the world reduces emissions as the century goes on and extensively mitigates its carbon impact. In the worst case scenario, where we continue to emit as we currently are and increase emissions every year, we expect the global average change in temperature to be between 2.6 and 4.8 degrees Celsius. Now that's a global average. Some areas will see significantly more warming even than that. The effects of this warming are called climate change and encapsulate melting ice caps, rising sea levels, increases in extreme weather events and massive population movements. I asked my supervisor here at the University of Exeter what he expected the long-term effects of climate change to be. Unless a miracle occurs, a thousand years from now, all the ecosystems we know today will be destroyed. There may be some residual animals living in zoos kept alive, um, um, but like across Africa, all the savannah where the elephants are gone. Um, eventually, the ice caps melt. Like Florida, is a couple little islands left. Um, it, all the plants and animals are used to very slow change in the environment, and it will be a very rapid change. But it'll be rapid. It won't be so rapid that within a given lifetime, that it looks like a huge difference. Like from the time you're born to the time you die. Oh, maybe snowstorms are less frequent than when you were a kid. Um, it won't be that noticeable, but you add it up over 500 years or 1,000 years, and it's catastrophic. This video is an excerpt from my crash course on atmospheric physics. If you'd like to learn more about global warming, there's an entire episode on the subject, which is linked to on the screen. And also on the screen is a link to the series playlist, which covers topics as diverse as thermodynamics, the dynamics of the stratosphere, and what I researched for my PhD. Thank you very much for watching.